Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to show you an, one of the other PCBs I designed, or two of the other PCBs I designed during this year, but they are uh, closely related to it, so I will show you both in one video. The first one is this tiny PCB that looks basically like two ones, but um, they were one PCB that I broke off and soldered them together this way. They look this strange because I use this PCB as a sensor PCB for my AnimoSense project. That's a DIY 3D printable uh, wind sensor, so you can detect uh, wind speed and wind direction with it. Before I start with the explanation of the PCB, I show you how it's integrated in the housing. I think that it gets clearer. Therefore, I've 3D printed this housing of a typical wind sensor. So you have the wind direction sensor that is, yeah, basically consists of this vane. This vane rotates on the inside a diametral magnetized magnet. So diametral magnetized in this case means that when you have a cylinder like this, the, the, the border between the south and the north pole stands upwards on the, on the magnet. So when it, you turn the magnet, these, this border is turning. And that's one thing we will detect later with one of the integrated circuits we populated on the little PCB here. But before I will show you this, I will show you uh, the rest of the housing that consists of these wind shovels. Basically the same design as the commonly known wind sensors. If you blow in it, it turns around. And it has here in these little pockets three magnets, one here, one here, one here. Of course, one would be enough, but if you put only one magnet here, you have an uh, imbalanced inbal um, system here, and then it can happen that you don't get a fluent rotation, and that's something we want to avoid. Therefore, I put three magnets in here, and later when you detect these magnets, you have, of course, to, to divide this number of detections by three, because for each rotation you have three magnet detections, but more on that later. The idea with the PCB is now that when I have the PCB with the whole sensor up here, that's the little guy you can see at the top this way, it goes into the, into the housing right at the position where the magnets are. So the magnets are here in this pocket. When I put it in here, it can detect the magnets from the inside of the housing, so it's uh, splash waterproof and shouldn't get any. You shouldn't get any problems with with humidity, but you're still able to detect these movements. The other thing is what I already told you about this diametral magnet. That's the shiny thing in here. This one stays directly over this integrated circuit. And this integrated circuit can detect this north-south pole border I told you earlier about. So when I put in the PCB this way, the magnet stays directly um, above the integrated circuit. And if I turn around these, this wind vane, the integrated circuit can detect the, the rotation and the orientation. And then communicates via the I2C bus that goes out of this wires here what position the actual wind vane uh, has. Yeah, that's the first thing about this very, very simple PCB. Basically, uh, there are just two sensors. Again, the hall sensor here, the AS5048B. The B is very important because the B says that this uh, integrated circuit communicates via I2C bus. Earlier, I ordered the um, AS5048A and this communicates via, via SPI. And yeah, was a little fail when I when I first tried to populate this PCB and recognized that I uh, had the wrong sensor PCB. But uh, this is working fine. So all the sensoring of the direction and speed works pretty good this way. Also, yeah, as I already mentioned, big advantage this way: the whole construction is waterproof as long as the water is coming from the top. Of course, it's not waterproof for usage underwater, so not a good idea to uh, detect flow speed of a river or something similar like this. 
But as you maybe already recognized, this PCB is not enough because this is just distributing the information, of course, only on demand on the I2C bus. So we need some more intelligence to evaluate this data, do some calculations and uh, yeah, send the data somewhere or save it for later, whatever. And that was the reason why I was working or designing the AnimoSense uh, MCU PCB. That's a uh, yeah, pretty small or as small as possible MCU PCB that contains an ESP32 Rover B. There's, there are multiple versions available, some with uh, they are using the integrated PCB antenna here at the top. Some have a UFL connector so that you can connect the external uh, Wi-Fi antenna. You can use both, whatever you like. Maybe there's a use case where you want to have an external antenna, then it's also okay to use the other one because the pinout is the same, the power consumption uh, programming, everything's the same. Beside the ESP32, I have populated a micro SD card port to save the, the measured data and a quick port that is basically an I2C, basically a port to connect additional I2C sensors introduced by SparkFun. So if you have, for example, again, my little demo board here, uh, BME 280, you have the proper connector, you can simply connect it here to the port and it's directly vis visible on the I2C port, uh, I2C bus of the ESP32. But let's get to the rest of the PCB. One thing that I tried here for the first time is an uh, RS485 transceiver. RS485 uh, is an um, industry standard for uh, communication. Maybe you already recognize that it's pretty similar to the RS232, which you use at the serial connection at computers. Big advantage here is that you have a better signal integrity, and this is also the reason why, for example, um, current meters com use it for communication or solar invaders use it for communication. And in this case, I also wanted to use it to have an additional interface to get the data to or from the ESP32. Therefore, you have here an additional small JST connector where you can supply the whole circuit with uh, power and, of course, also with data, data input and output. Therefore, we have also this small diet here because we have two ways to power this. One is via this um, S485 connector. The other one is via the USB-C USB connector. I will tell you now more about because Right now, I didn't tell you so much about the other side of the PCB, <clears throat> and that's it. So we have the USB-C port to power the whole circuit that connects on the data side to the CH340G, which is again a USB or simple USB serial bridge, commonly known from many other Arduino clones. It acts as a serial device on the USB side, so if you connect it to your computer, it detects it as a serial device. And on the serial side, it connects via serial UART connection to USB 30, 32 on the other side. So via this, you can program the device, you can read data, you can uh, send data, receive data, whatever you like. So that's this part. The other one, you can already see it because it has this very bulky uh, button cell is the DS3232M real-time clock. So in case you want to use this data off-site, just want to supply power to it and it should collect data over a longer time period, you of course also want to have a timestamp. So when which data was measured. So with this DS3232M RTC, you always have a correct timestamp available. I will tell you later more about this when it comes to the single possible use cases of the, this device. This JST connector here at the top is for connecting to the sensor PCB of the AnimoSense. Of course, right now I don't have the proper cable, but you can already see the wires go in here. So I have everything in place, everything connected properly. And uh, this way you can pretty easily set up a wind sensor for direction and speed measurement. When it comes about the single use case of this device, you can use it as an additional part of your uh, weather station. Simply connect it 
Okay, in this case you could directly connect the sensor PCB to your weather, weather station PCB if this supports it. But of course you can also connect it to the AnimoSense MCU PCB, collect the data here, send it to your smartphone, uh, smart home via Wi-Fi or via the USB-C connection. I'm working right now on a firmware that is um, sending JSON data via the USB-C uh, serial bridge. Uh, the other use case is to connect this ESP32 to your Wi-Fi and to your MQTT server, so you can send the data via the MQTT server. Next use case is that you use the RS485 for sending the data via the, this uh, communication standard. Right now I have an implementation for the Modbus protocol on my in my firmware. So there's also the Modbus protocol is also a protocol that is based on these RS485 standard and you can use it to pull and send data to the device. Beside this you have the possibility to use the Bluetooth feature of the ESP32. So you don't necessarily have to rely on on Wi-Fi or on a wired connection. You can simply set up the Bluetooth server here on the on the ESP32 and then you can pull the data via BLE from the from the device. You only need a yeah, specific app or uh, whatever on your phone. And then it's pretty easy to read this as well via Bluetooth. One thing that I forgot, I put also here a solder pad for the BME 280. So in case you also want to rec record climate data like humidity, temperature or air pressure, it's also possible with a little butt because due to the mounting area here at that location close to the power distribution paths and with the th thermal coupling through the ESP32 you will most probably don't get an exact reading of the environmental temperature because of course this ESP32 heats up, it heats the PCB up and the whole heat is transferred to this location and yeah therefore will corrupt your readings but Ah, maybe nice to have some rough estimation. Therefore, I, I put it here and also because I had space left. Yeah, that's it about this AnimoSense MCU PCB. I hope you liked it so far. I put some more information about the whole PCB and what components are used and where you can get the files and also some hints about how to build this in the section below the video. I hope you liked it so far. If you don't like it, Leave me a comment and tell me what I can do better in the future. If you like it, please leave me a comment as well. And have a nice day. Bye.